So one other short video on the, the Harlequins and uh, looking at their their force org and the formations. If you look at their basic force org, it, everyone probably knows they, they can't be allied or uh, combined arms, so they don't ever get objective secured. They have a mask, and the mask says you have to take three troops, two fast attacks, and one heavy, and then you can take all these elites. This is one of the few ways that you can get Death Jesters and Shadow Seers on their own in the uh, in the Codex. Um, and if you take it, you, you get to reroll your Warlord trait um, in the Harlequin Codex, or you get Rising and you get Rising Crescendo, which is the you can run and shoot. I think initially a lot of people thought this was not a great Force Orc, but it, it's it's not bad. And if you look at some of the formations, you, you, this has got some serious benefit. Um, these fast attacks don't have to be jet bikes, they could actually be the transports because the transports of the troops are, are fast attacks. So you could take three troops, um, take two fast attacks as transports and, and maybe one more for the troop, and then the heavy support, and then you could just load up on uh, on um, Shadow Seers and Death Jesters. And then looking at the other formations, and here's this is what my opinions on them, Chirgoras Revenge essentially is the, the full-out mask force org. If you are not going to take Hero's Path, then this, and you're gonna, and you're considering taking a large Harlequin army, then this is the one to take. Um, the only downside the Chagoras Revenge that I can see is that this uh, formation does not allow you to take any other formation with a solitaire in it. Um, because the formation is a full mask, it, in other words, it has three troops, seven elites, two fast, and one heavy. So it would be as, as if you maxed out a full mask detachment. It gives you all the benefits of the mask detachment, plus um, it gives you a reroll of one on your invulnerable save, and uh, that's pretty good. The downside that I see in it is that you have to take the solitaire. Um, and there's another formation that uses assault air. But if you're not, if you're not going to take Hero's Path, and you're going to take a full Harlequin army, then Chagoras Revenge is better than Mask. Uh, okay, Serpent Brood. Yeah, this one is the one that lets you assault uh, and then hit and run back into your transports. Yeah, you know, it's it's not a bad uh, formation, but I, I think it's it's an awful lot of points. Um, additional, and so, you know, yeah, you are safer in your transport than you are on the ground after an assault, but eh, I, I'm, I'm unconvinced that Serpent's Brood is really good. I haven't used it, though, so I'm, I'm not sure. Cast of Players. This is essentially what a previous Harlequin squad is in the other codices. It allows you to take the Death Jester and the Shadow Seer as upgrades, basically. You have to permanently add them to the Harlequin squad. It gives everyone Crusader and all the Eldar friend or foe around them within six inches Crusader. Yeah, it's not bad. Downside to this formation is it has seven people in it, or seven elves, so they won't fit in their own transport. Um, you could buy a Dark Eldar transport or something and, and still have an open-topped vehicle, but I'm, uncon I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of cast of players unless you have a really specific use for them. Uh, Chagoras Jest, this is the one which, which lets you take a troop, Skyweavers and Void Weavers, and it gives you Rising Crescendo, so if you, you're, you're, you're short on points and you're trying to get some Harlequin units into the game, it's not a bad option. Uh, but it, a full mask is probably better. Hero's Path, I think this is the the winner for the Harlequin's Codex. Uh, it's at, it's pretty low points. Uh, it's like 280 points if you kit guys out, um, and less if you don't. But Hero's Path says Death Jester, Shadow Seer, Solitaire. It gives them Infiltrate, Stealth, and Shrouded. So they're almost always going to have a two-up cover save if they're in any kind of terrain. Um, and, and they lose independent character. They, they can never be joined by anyone. But it's a great way to keep these guys alive. And it's the one thing um, against Chigoras Revenge that I, that I see 
Um, in the, if you're going to use the solitaire, you can only have one. And then Falchu's Blade. This is another great option because um, it gives you a reroll on your Jinx saves, which is great for your jet bikes. And actually pretty good for the Void Weaver. So um, the downside is, of course, you're going to be uh, snap firing, but uh, um, all these have at least weapons that can hit while snap firing. So I, I think this is a good option. It's another good way to get some units into the game if you're not going to use a full mask or the or the revenge uh, formation 